when Jesus Christ returned and lived upon the earth the second time from 1862 to 1930, he was charged with high treason and again spit at, beaten, insulted, imprisoned, and put on trial before the blood dripping chair of the judges. He was absolutely fearless when he stood before his judges and he accused them of being guilty of not allowing him to finish his work. He told them they were not capable of passing judgment on him and his work. And he ended his great defense speech with the words, Hands off, Silvio Gazelle. This was in Munich, Germany on July 3rd, 1919. His judges found him not guilty and gave him a complete acquittal. But still, he was not allowed to return to his farm and home in Switzerland because of his efforts to implement the two great laws of God, free land and free money. He made it clear to the judges that he was the only one in the history of the world who knew how to destroy the sinful, oppressive practice known as usury, the interest exploitation. Because Switzerland would not allow him to live there anymore, he stayed in Germany and continued to write the books and make the speeches which tell us exactly what to do to end the rule of Satan. He also told us how to create the kingdom of God on earth with the two great laws of God which he named free land and free money. He offered to the filthy rich landlords and money lords a very generous offer, but they refused it. Not only did they refuse it, but they also financed Hitler, World War II, and the concentration death camps to destroy the worldwide free land, free money movement. They killed all of the disciples of Jesus Christ that they could find and burned the books and have tried to keep the name of Silvio Gazelle, the new name of Jesus Christ, out of the encyclopedias and history books. He was world famous, praised by Albert Einstein, H.G. Wells, John Maynard Keynes, Irving Fisher, Ezra Pound, and thousands of others. But his name is nowhere to be found and encyclopedias, dictionaries, and history books today. The cowardly sons of Satan who rule the world fear the Son of God. They also fear all of God's people when we learn the truth that will make us free, the two laws of God, free land and free money. We will inherit the earth just as foretold in the Bible many times. We will take it back from the wicked, and they will be no more. We will use the righteous money of God, free from the sin of usury, interest slavery. No longer will the wicked create and control the money supply and make us slaves to usury and economic disasters, such as depressions, inflation, repossessions, and the theft of the earth. We will have the righteous money of God, and it will be managed in accordance with the teachings of Christ. It will be stable money, always circulating, never hoarded, always bringing life and prosperity wherever it goes without inflation or deflation. When Jesus Christ returned with his new name of Silvio Gazelle, he offered to let everyone exchange their unrighteous money of Satan for the righteous money of God. 
He also offered to pay the landowners for the land. This offer was refused. So today, on the third day, things will be different, just as foretold in the Bible. Those who were invited were not worthy. They will not be able to exchange their unrighteous money for God's righteous money. Also, they will not be paid for the land and natural resources. The Bible teaches us that the land belongs to God and should never be sold. That is written in Leviticus chapter 25, verse 23. These filthy rich sons of Satan will again do all they can to stop God's kingdom from coming. So they will receive exactly what they deserve, just as foretold in the Bible many times. Everyone who helps to create the kingdom of God on earth will be rewarded with $5,000 of the righteous money of God, free money. Also, the money from the rent of the land and for the natural resources will be given to mothers with children, the elderly, and the handicapped. All of this money from the land and natural resources will no longer be stolen by the filthy rich sons of Satan anymore. It will all go to God's people, to whom it rightfully belongs. This is the will of God, who has promised that the needy will not be forgotten and will be cared for by God. We will all inherit the earth forever. We will all live in the kingdom of God on earth in great prosperity. But the wicked will be cut off. Everyone will get what they deserve. Everyone will be rewarded according to their works, again foretold in the Holy Bible many times. This is the third day, the day that we will create the kingdom of God on earth. And this is Jesus Christ when he returned from 1862 to 1930, like a thief, like a thief in the night, at a time we did not realize, and with his new name of Silvio Gazelle.